Can you briefly introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Michel Jarreau, the Secretary General of uh, the World Meteorological Organization and the Chair of UN Water. And what is the reason of your visit to UNESCO IG these past days? Well, two, uh, two, two reasons is uh, uh, we are uh, signing an agreement we WMO and IHE with respect to fellowship in the in the field of uh, hydrology, and the second reason is for the graduation uh, ceremony of your uh, your students. I was kindly invited, and I'm very delighted to uh, to be with you on this special occasion. And can you say a little bit more about uh, the MOU that you signed uh, today? Yeah, the, the the idea is that. Uh, uh, the needs for training in this field are huge worldwide and you have unique uh, uh, facilities and experience on uh, training and we felt that rather to, to deal with that on a case by case basis it was better to have a framework for these uh, uh, for these uh, activities and in this framework uh, it's a win-win situation where uh, uh, everyone is contributing and that at the end of the day helps very much our developing countries uh, to increase their pool of uh, experts. And um, in what other ways do you think WMO would like to collaborate also with UNESCO IG? Well, we have had, uh, we have had uh, many um, interactions in the past and uh, actually IHG has trained uh, a number of our uh, senior experts, so they are alumni of <laughs> IHE, so that's already a practical illustration of this cooperation. But in the future, you see there are new things emerging when it comes to, to water. Uh, one of them is climate change, and uh, water and climate are very, very closely integrated, uh, integrated with each other. And um, um, all, all the issues of management of uh, extreme events, floods, uh, droughts. Uh, uh, so they are, we were just discussing with the, with the rector uh, the various possibilities for strengthening cooperation. And I should not say it's limitless, but still it's, it's huge prospects for getting closer cooperation. Well, also um, yesterday at the UN Water Talks, where you spoke as mm -hmm. the keynote speaker, mm -hmm. Uh, you also mentioned something about uh, possibilities to collaborate also in the global campus idea that UNESCO IG yes. has. Can you elaborate also a bit on yeah. that? I, th I think the global campus is, uh, w when I read about it, it's a very attractive initiative because um, it will help to create this, uh, the, one of the key words is global. <laughs> it's a campus but it's global, so to have this network which can uh, address the needs of countries in whichever part of the world uh, uh, they, they, they are. So uh, that's at least something which is, I think, a very uh, interesting and powerful uh, concept. So. We, we are very much supportive of that uh, initiative. We should have to see how concretely, and now our people, we have to discuss how concretely we can get, uh, we, we can support that. So that's uh, something which will have to be discussed. Mm -hmm. Also, um, part of that, I think, is um, the strength to develop jointly with partners mm -hmm. um, research agendas together, also mm -hmm. maybe sharing mm -hmm. uh, data and um, making them available as well to others. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Yeah, the question of exchange of data is still a difficult one, particularly in hydrology, where mm -hmm. um, there is no sort of culture of exchanging data across uh, countries. So we have to break this, uh, this uh, historical uh, attitude. And, uh, and one of the main reasons why things need to be looked at globally is the climate issue, because the climate introduces a global dimension. Indeed, traditionally, water was managed at the level of basins, for example, but now with the climate issue, the basin scale is not good enough. One needs to look at the, at the uh, global scale. So that's also something that we have to, uh, to uh, discuss together. So, um, in terms of research, do you think that in the next 20 mm -hmm. years, what are the most interesting themes or topics that uh, should be researched even further? Um, I assume that you talk mostly uh, research in the field of uh, hydrology. Yes. And mm -hmm. So, they, they are, I, I would identify, there are many, but I would identify uh, a few. And one of them is to understand 
even better and to be able to predict better the interaction between climate change and water resources, the hydrological cycle. We know uh, more and more, but still we want to improve further I, uh, our knowledge of that. The other aspect which is linked to the first one is on extreme events. Many disasters are either caused directly by water extremes or they are aggravated by water events. And there as well, there is potential for improving the quality of the warning but also the way these warnings are integrated into uh, management uh, of uh, disaster risk uh, reduction. So these are, these are uh, two, two, two examples, but I could give other ones. Globally, water has also to be better managed because the, the resources in fresh water are finite. And the world population not only is increasing, but the usage per capita of water is also increasing. So it's putting additional pressure on the water uh, resources. And therefore, it is imperative that we better more effectively manage resources, be it for uh, agriculture. Agriculture is the biggest, as you probably know, is the biggest use of fresh water uh, on the planet. 70-75% of all fresh water is used for agriculture. But also for other, uh, for other usage, uh, energy uh, production. Um, it can be also for the, the link between water and health. Uh, it can be uh, for many other uh, many other application and all that has to be better managed so therefore more research is required in optimization of this uh, interaction okay thank you very much thank you very much